Scotland, and a higher than expected number of young people are having inflammation in the heart muscle, and the problem is linked to the COVID-19 vaccine. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now with more on this. Doc, this is scary. How many cases have been reported in the U.S., and does this mean there's a clear link between the vaccines and this cardiac illness? It is concerning. Exact numbers, Glenda, are not released regarding the myocarditis cases. What I do know is this, that most cases of the myocarditis, which is a fancy word for inflammation of the heart muscle, were found to happen more often in males. They were typically between the ages of 16 and 30, so young. The cases were often diagnosed following the second shot of either the Pfizer or the Moderna vaccine. As for, as for a direct link, the CDC has acknowledged that there is a risk of myocarditis and is watching and reviewing these cases very closely. And while nothing has been established yet, it's beginning to look more like a pattern and a possible causal uh, association. I want to say possible very carefully. The good news is that most of these young people responded really well to rest and medication. And despite the higher than expected cases, myocarditis following vaccination is still considered rare and most cases are mild. So, Doc, how quickly does this inflammation develop and what are the symptoms to look out for? Important question. So, myocarditis, Glenda, uh, was typically diagnosed within 30 days after the second dose. One published report involved seven cases of, in teen males and they developed chest pain within four days and five of them had fevers. But other symptoms can be shortness of breath and heart palpitations. A as a dad, I can understand, listen, People may get uneasy to vaccinate their kids, but I want to focus on science. And science tells us that young males are twice as likely as females to develop my myocarditis in general, right, in general. Uh, so even if a person is not vaccinated, myocarditis, myocarditis can develop from having a viral infection like the common cold or even a gastrointestinal illness. It's important to know that. And the same can happen in these cases. Myocarditis also tends not to be serious here and it can go away on its own. So parents, please don't fear the COVID vaccine because this, the overwhelming consensus among amongst experts, including myself, is to not avoid the vaccines because of a possible link. We need to get protected. We need to make sure we get, get past this. Now, again, we'll stay on top of this. If we have any more information, we'll share this right away. All right, Dr. Nandy, important takeaway there. Thank you so much. My and pleasure. You, all right. If you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, email him, Dr. Nandy at askdrnandy.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.